Hello, and welcome back, most illustrious members of the detail. I thank you all for your continued support. In turn, I am going to continue supporting you. We got a balance patch coming out. Let's go over it. I hope you enjoy. I don't know what it was. I think the... <laughs> The promise of a face reveal really got people's juices flowing because we went, we got like so many new subscribers. Help us keep that going. I got nothing else to offer you besides pretty good content from someone who's kind of funny. But if that's your thing, subscribe down below. <laughs> All right, we got a we got a patch coming uh, April sixth. So that like I assume this is coming out. Soon, if it is not already out, I, I haven't actually logged in, but this is, the the point is this isn't a regular update. Uh, they're announcing this thing called OTA, which stands for Over the Air Updates. Basically, hot fixes, like that's what they say here, it's a hot fix. If you don't know, sometimes games need updates to change things, but sometimes what's called a hot fix can be implemented that changes small, like, usually numbers tweaks uh, that, that don't require like ruling interaction changes uh, can be done as a hot fix. A lot of games do this. The, they're announcing that they now have the ability to do this, which is good. I like that they have the ability to do this. Seems, seems integral to a game like this. Kind of sucks waiting four weeks if, uh, if something gets patched and you're like, this still sucks like Shuri, which is what we're going into first. Um, Shuri is getting nerfed. Oh, Red Skull is getting nerfed on Shuri's behalf. Um, we saw, I think She-Hulk kind of got nerfed on Shuri's behalf. Red Skull already got nerfed once on Shuri's behalf. And it does say here that, uh, basically we, we will be nerfing, <laughs> we will be nerfing Shuri. Uh, we don't like that we have to keep hitting Red Skull. But we do, because Shuri's abysmal to play against. Everyone knows it. Interaction is overrated because Shuri's too good, and the interaction she can play is too good. Everyone knows it. Everyone agrees. It's it's just an open secret. I don't know why they keep, like, for a while, they were like, you know, no, changing Red Skull to a 513 is what we need. That, that'll fix it. Like, they, they did, I wish they had put this in the original nerf announcement, like, hey, we still have plans to do more, but this isn't, in like, they did that with, um, Leader. They were like, we know Leader needs a bigger nerf, but we don't, we're not doing that yet. I don't know why they didn't do that with the last announcement. They were like, yeah, no, no, this is the nerf that Shuri needs that'll, that'll bring her down to relevant, like, relevant power. Whatever. It's happening. It might have already happened. Probably by the time this goes live, it'll probably have happened. Um, Sunspot is now a one, uh, one zero, which is fine. Just n no change to his effect. Um, as I said, Sunspot is, <laughs> I love that I can call back to my, the times that I've, uh, hashtag called it. <laughs> Sunspot is the best one drop in the game by, by like a, by a wide margin. Sunspot is the best one drop in the game. I think he's still going to be the best one drop in the game. I think this is perfectly fine. Uh, you know, I, I have no problem, even with the cards I play being nerfed if, if it's like a deserved nerf. And this is definitely one like, you know, that you just, yeah, it, it makes perfect sense. Thank you. Great job. Uh, Shadow King, four, three down to a three, three, same effect, uh, set all cards to their original base power, all cards here to their original base power. This is another tool that you can use kind of to beat Shuri. Like it gets around armor, but not Cosmo. Um, I don't think it's that good. I think that a lot, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's like not good enough that I think it should be in pool two. Like I said, because it's just a tech card. And I think basically all tech cards should be in pool two, as far as I'm concerned. So like, I, I didn't recommend you spending your tokens on it because of that. I still probably don't, recommend you spend your tokens on it, even though it's getting buffed, but, um, it is a tool that everyone should have at their disposal. I just hope it drops to pool three soon. Cause I'm just like kind of over <laughs> having to spend tokens on like necessary cards for like game pieces. 
Yeah, I feel like the necessary game pieces should be present for everyone after not that long. And the the other stuff that's like, oh, this is interesting, but not that good, uh, should be the ones locked behind tokens. But I digress. This is cool. I'm glad. I'm glad they saw a problem and went to fix it. I, I'm glad. Sentry. Oh, they're, they're messing with me. I remember couple probably a week ago i was like my shop dicked me because i wanted i wanted to buy the century but i was like no i'm gonna show some restraint i'm gonna i'm gonna do the right thing i'm gonna hold out for bast and then it's like no bast is dropping to uh pool three century isn't you should have just bought century also century is getting buffed <laughs> god damn it um but yeah century is getting buffed to a 410 that adds a four negative 10 to the right uh which just like for all the reasons like, you know, if you're using Sentry with Carnage, this is just a strict two-power increase. If you're using Sentry with um, Deathlock, it's a two-power increase. And if you're using Sentry with Viper, it's a four-power increase. Because you get two extra power and you're giving them two extra negative power. So, in all ways except for the strict value it is a buff right it, strict value it's still zero worth of stats <laughs> but no one uses this as a strictly value based card you only use this card if you have some way of utilizing that negative 10 right and in, in the valkyrie deck it's a plus two because because this is the only body that matters this is going to be a three power card no matter what so yeah huge fan of that love it love seeing it um just some like q a stuff i think uh our balanced future speaking of changes we're interested in trying out we have an exciting announcement uh snap starting with our upcoming patch for 418 okay cool so 418 uh looks like it's going to be when the pool 3 drop happens if i had to venture a guess but i have been wrong before i've been wrong loudly and on video before so who knows i could be wrong now but it looks like 418 um our patch every four weeks will continue so it's going to be uh as someone pointed out i believe in my discord uh the the drops the pool drops usually happen two-thirds to three-quarters of the way into the month so that is about right so 418 that's how it happened last month i think it was the 21st of last month but that moved slightly um yeah but they're gonna start doing uh intervening updates on thursdays because these the 418 pa these are all tuesday patches the normal patch so thursdays will be the ota patches okay so maybe this one isn't oh no M motherfucker it's thursday Ho homie it's a thursday okay that makes a lot of sense all right i was like maybe this isn't it because it's only wednesday but no it's not it's thursday okay um the we know that this sort of balance attention and prioritization that may many of you have clamored for so thank you for your passionate feedback i like that that's uh very political of them passionate feedback it's been a multi-team effort to get this process uh buttoned nobody says that why are you act why are you why are you putting on airs right now second dinner nobody says get this process buttoned uh and we'll all hope uh we all hope you're as excited as we are yes we are thank you uh more q a stuff why thursdays uh okay cool because it works for us i'm <laughs> good yeah uh what kind of changes uh we can make changes within about a week or two it's limited to what we can change we can develop the tool and expand its limitations but for now you can expect weekly thursday changes to be numbers only that's kind of what i thought they had already said at the top or maybe it's just what I inferred. Uh, that's usually like what a hot fix can do. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't. I didn't expect them to do like larger patches via a hot fix that didn't need an update. Okay, cool. Uh, Shadow King and Sentry are getting buffed. We're gonna guarantee at least one buff in each of these updates. That's good. I I think me, you, everyone listening at least prefers that method right like i've kind of been advocating like i think enchantress could be like a four five i think you know there's there's like a number of small numbers buffs that they could implement that wouldn't 
like they it would the chance that it would negatively impact the play experience is so low that it's like why not <laughs> it's like fucking throw them a throw them a point of power here and there um how many cards will be changed each week two to four cool yeah two to four cards each week that's cool hope you know especially because it looks like the idea is just to tweak numbers uh like up or down very slightly and so with that in mind like you know especially if they're like yeah we're we're planning on buffing cards imagine if every week like two cards that were just completely fuck all useless got got added to your collection right because you have the cards and they're like oh you know what this card sees zero play this quake quake uh feller she sees zero play. Why don't we just buff her? Why don't we just like give her a little buffy buff and see what happens? And it's like at worst, it's like one week where you're like, damn, everyone be playing Quake. This sucks. <laughs> it's like she's not going to be so good that like she's going to break the game, right? Uh, how will we pick cards? We have a list of buffs and a very small list of nerfs. It's very, I promise you, it's very small. We won't be, yeah, that better be a very small list. Uh, we're making existing content. We're prioritizing them based on how we expect the individual changes to affect the metagame or even combined with new cards and locations. All right. I don't, I actually don't like that answer. I don't care how they interact with new cards. Uh, locations is fine, but I do not care how these buffs interact with new cards and you shouldn't care. Uh, you meaning second dinner, not you meaning list listener i will let you make your own choice but i do not care how they interact with new cards because the average player does not care about new cards and you know that you know that this is a huge problem stop pretending that <laughs> that we're all waiting with bated breath about how you're gonna buff quake so that she's better with kitty pride nobody gives a <laughs> shit nobody cares nobody can play kitty pride i mean literally nobody can play kitty pride but you know also like figuratively no one can play kitty pride uh we'll shift them around based on the live metagame that's cool that's that's what i want this sentence should just not have like that part and it would be fine uh why not make all the changes now one of the things we're worried with is how much change is too much yeah that's fine this i like this take of like well if we have the ability to update it every week we might as well like give a slow drip of it, it's it's sort of like very low effort free content for them to like you know because because there's so little that gets added to the game that means anything to anyone being able to buff cards is like it's kind of like a middle ground like i wish there was just new accessible content like i know everyone listening wishes that i know that that would be the way that we prefer this game go the direction but like this this functions as a weekly release that people can actually engage with right if the card that you never saw any play with suddenly is playable somewhere that is functionally a weekly release and i and, and it's like you know available to you and me and the regular player and i really appreciate that um why not make all those changes now we don't want to <laughs> we're avoid changing more than a handful of cards at a time um i i think this is all like accurate to them internally like oh we don't know how it's gonna uh, we don't want to affect too many things oh too much of a good thing whatever but i think it's also that thing i outlined at the beginning of like they this is going to function as low effort content for them to release going forward and and they prefer it that way and that's fine with me but you know <laughs> let's not be like slimy about it that's definitely part of what's happening that's definitely part of it that they're like relying on this to hold interest there's so many people there's people in my discord who are just like yeah i'm taking a break from snap <laughs> <laughs> like this, this is bored i'm bored this like you know i played all the decks i want to play i got no access to new cards so like what it, like i'm literally playing the same deck for you know in a month i'm playing it for a hundred hours or something just not interested um this this will be a way to to alleviate that uh how long will we do this uh we've planned a trial period for may and depending on how it goes we may continue onward we're optimistic about at the moment we've planned a trial period for may i assume that means all of april and then all of may because if they're putting one out today i don't know if that's true hang on let me let me open marvel snap and see if 
I don't own Sentry. I don't own Sentry. How am I going to see if Sentry got buffed? Wait, what else got changed? I don't own anything. Hold up. Shadow King. Oh, I own Sunspot. That's right. I own Sunspot. Okay. Uh, Blorp. Uh, Bloop. Uh, Sunspot! It went live! Alright, cool. I should have done this at the beginning of the video, but I am not a professional, so I didn't. Okay, cool. So this is all live. Um, so that, okay, but that does beg the question of, like, what this, we've planned a trial period for May? I feel like this means through May. A trial period for now until the end of May, or something. That's unclear, but whatever. This one got implemented today. That's it. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's it. It doesn't scroll anymore. I'm trying. I wish there was more, but there isn't. Um, what do y'all think? I'm pretty happy with this. I'm I wish I had bought Sentry now. <laughs> that's what I that's what I think. That's my big takeaway is that they're doing this specifically to punish me and me alone for not having bought Sentry in my hubris. No, actually, I'm really excited if you didn't see uh Bleep Blorp uh go over here. Oh, if you still want to donate, uh, you know, subscribe to my only fans so i can get thorg do so now oh look a, a buffed card that costs three thousand i am buying it but oh right here this is the number i was looking for i got 5500 tokens i am committed to saving these to buy high evolutionary for soviet propaganda so when he comes out you will get new content um it actually it's kind of weird because one of the things people bring up in fact the nicest comment anyone ever left on this channel was like i'm so glad you don't do like hype beast shit <laughs> and like and are like oh this new card is so good it's broken it's so good because like you know as i outlined in this video that's just like people can't play these cards so like why does it matter but like i'm really excited for high evolutionary so i'm i'm gonna do the hype beast shit i'm really excited for him i just want to play him so bad so i have the i have him saved i'm, I'm ready i'm ready and and raring to go so that's it for today thank you so much leave your comments down below if you have if you like have any input on any of this what you'd like to see especially i'd love to hear what you would love to see from these uh ota uh ot yeah over the air the the hot fixes the i don't know why they're why, why i don't know why they're calling them that what would you like to see from these hot fixes um what card what at least what cards i'm probably going to put up a poll because i'm very interested in what y'all have to think um thank you so much for watching if you find my content elucidating enlightening or enriching or you just want to help me get to 500 subscribers so that I have to promise you some other thing for the channel because that's how this works. Uh, then subscribe down below and I hope you have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow.